Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Ready. Anyways, welcome back to Vault Hunters. We're starting the episode off by completing, hopefully, the scavenger hunt crystal. Now I have cleared something up, it is not going to have a 5 minute timer. That is the raffle vault. This is just basically going to have the objective to complete the scavenger. No 5 minutes, no rewards on Monday, anything like that. So yeah, hopefully this is all gonna go well. I have everything I need. Let's go. Weekend, personal space, fast, unlucky. That's so many <laughs> negative things at once. Okay, I need to kill skeletons, zombies, zombies and skeletons. Okay, okay, that, that should be easy. I'm not gonna focus on looting. If I find any loot, then fine, but I will focus primarily on killing the mobs that I need to kill. And I forgot power bars. <laughs> What I really just want to find is a room that has a lot of spawning capabilities, so a lot of spawners. That's really good as well, being near that. For this type of vault, it was actually really annoying that we got personal space, because that means I'm gonna get less mobs. With that said though, this is a lot of zombies. Just gonna let them come to me. Okay, there's actually a lot of compressed blocks in this room right now. Oh boy. Okay, so far so good. Still need a bunch of things from skeletons. The zombie part is probably not gonna take too long. Question is if I can do this within, oh boy, <laughs> within 14 minutes. I can bail at any time, so that's good. My ax is about to break. Okay, what do we have here? I suppose it's worth going down to take a look. This place also seems like a great place to do a bunch of farming. Yep. Perfect for farming. Oh no, I need to kill this. And my axe broke. Oh dear. <laughs> my zombie killer has broken. That's not good. Just one issue, I'm not getting any skeletons whatsoever. I also need more of those goblets, which I'm not gonna get by standing still in a room. Not gonna lie, don't think I'm gonna complete this one. I definitely don't have high hopes for this. I need four more zombie arms. So I now checked to see if there would be a... Portal room? Nope, no portal room. I think I'm gonna farm for the zombie arms here, and then as soon as I have those, I'm gonna head out of this particular room. Oh. Well, that would do it. I got everything I need from the zombies. The thing I need next are skeletons. Aha! I was looking for one of these. Boom, 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 and definitely boom. Right. Goblets and skeleton thingies. If I get that in five minutes, I'll be surprised. I guess I might as well get something out of this. I am in need of more vault ore, so I won't say no to any of this. <gasps> That's huge. That's huge. Bomb Ignite. <gasps> What's that? What's that? Echo Ore! We actually found- Okay, that just made this vault completely worth it. Even if I don't get anything else. The Echo Gem. Perfect. Okay, yeah. I am not going to be completing this whatsoever. I might as well give up on that hope, because I still need to kill a bunch of skeletons which are not present, so yeah, that's not gonna work. I can't believe it, the bombing knight and the echo gem. Alright, yeah, I think I'm gonna head back. I might farm a little bit in this end room, but other than that, yeah, I'm gonna head back. At least we'll get experience and we did get those all switches. Perfect. Alright, heading home. We unfortunately did not complete the vault objective, however we did, to be fair, have weakness, personal space, which doesn't help, fast, which doesn't help at all, and unlucky, so loot would have been meh. However, we did get probably the most expensive part of this vault that we actually achieved was the Echo Jor and the Bombing Night Ore. These two I am very excited for. I think the Bombing Night Ore is my first... not my first one. Probably my second one. Third then, apparently. So, so yes. 
Okay, I should probably stack these a little bit neater. So we now have three Bombing Knight Order, two Puffium, Puffium Order, and two Echo Order. And I do believe that I also have two Echo Gems in my large chest here. So that isn't too bad. We of course got a bunch of other ores as well, which is really good. We got one Relic Booster Pack. Bunch of compressed blocks, two slices of cheese, one burger, and one catalyst fragment. That wasn't a whole lot. Now, in the last episode, we made this, and we are still storing our power. We made some solar panels in the last episode, which I'm really happy with. They are right here. They're generating us power as we speak from the sun, green energy, and all that. But our main objective is still to get digital storage and in order to do that we need three knowledge stars and i currently only have one i do have enough vault diamonds to make another one but i am missing out on the star essence and i don't think there's any on sale whatsoever so that means we need to keep running vaults until we get enough so i do have one more vault rock here which i think i'm going to run phew i do have a phantom membrane okay what's that dark oak log Ooh, that's a problem. Well, I guess I need to go on a little bit of a flight. Another thing we got away with was almost 100 extra soul shards. So that's not too bad either. I think I'm gonna head in this direction. I've also looked at the soul shard trading for today and we do have a seal of the executioner, which puts the bulk crystals objective to kill the boss, but eh, it doesn't seem that valuable. Repair core, Paxel charm. There's an unknown item I could go for. Or I could save my shards for when I find something really valuable, like an Oli Star. Because that can happen. So I don't think I'm going to gamble with these points, or these shards, I should say. I'm gonna save them for when I need them. Alright, I made it. Not only did I get four Dark Oak saplings, which I'm just gonna put in here, but I got a bunch of the logs. And if you are playing Vault Hunters and need to get Dark Oak and can't find any, the pumpkins. This field right here with the big pumpkins, that's dark oak logs with a few dark oak leaves at the top, which if you break those, maybe you'll get a sapling. Took me a little bit to get them, but yeah, it, it was worth it at the end. Now I can just do this and crystal complete. Boom. Now I think for this crystal, I want to do a cake one again. I want to see if I can complete one. I really do love the cake crystals. Now I'm going to make this axe, turn this into an undead killer, I think. I am going to get a few books. Might five, efficiency five, unbreaking through five. I don't really need the efficiency on there, but yeah, I don't really care. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Undead re-killer re -killer 2.0. There we go. Nice. This time I am not going to forget my candy bars. And I think I got everything except for food. Just gotta grab a little bit extra food and I think we are ready to go. Yeet. Free. <gasps> Locked. No. No. Oh, give, give me my axe back. Okay. Lock here. Locked. Oh, okay. I got, basically I got 25 minutes. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Basically, if I don't find the cake, I am dead. I I can't I can't exit the vault. I can't exit the vault before I have found all the cakes, and this is not a good start. I have found it. I have found it. I have found it. Okay, I need to just ignore everything else and just focus on the cakes because if i don't find all the cakes i'm dead it is 22 so that is less than we got in the last episode okay this is not good okay i have to grab this i have to grab this i don't know what this one is called but i have to grab it that's all i'm looking that's all i'm stopping for though that's literally all i'm stopping for okay Two cakes in the first two minutes and 20 seconds. I guess it, oh, okay, never mind, three, make that three. Oh, hello, Iscout. Bye, Iscout. Oh, it's a mine room, too. This is a mine room. <laughs> this is like a really, really rare room as well. Are you kidding me? This is not good. I see the cake, though. I see the cake. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop here. I'm not gonna weaken. 
Okay, everything is against me. Everything is against me. Okay, I need to get out, need to get out, need to get out, need to get out. Candy bar it up. Four cakes down. 21 minutes to go. Found it. Healing. Okay, that's good. Healing's good. Okay, five cakes down. Five cakes down. I've never been in here properly. I was correct. 20 meters could be down below here. Yep, it was. Don't get greedy. No kidding. No kidding. Need to go here. Ran right past it. Come on, come on. Seven cakes down though. 20 minutes left. That is not too bad. Oh, okay. Yep, not doing too bad so far 19 meters 19 meters a slight feeling it might be up here yes i was correct okay making pretty good time wait 12 meters right here there it is okay 20 meters oh we have a bunch of stuff above us could be on the tree maybe who knows this is one of those that's gonna steal a bunch of time we have like stuff above this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's going to be in here somewhere. It has to be in here somewhere. 23 meters. Not here. This is not looking good. This is not looking good at all, ladies and gentlemen. 42 meters. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. I have no idea. Six meters. Six meters. Don't kill me, please. By all means. Six. Right in Okay, that was right in front of me. Are you kidding me? Uh, was it this way? I mean, 12 cakes down. 10 meters from here. Aha! Yeah, got it. I can do this. I can do this. Just gonna try and not focus on the time and just focus on getting the cake as fast as possible. Right there. Trapped. Mm-hmm. That is hiding. I just really hope this one is not down in the stronghold. That would suck. Down here, maybe. Oh, there's a portal room. <laughs> there's a portal room. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to grab it. I'm not going to grab it because... Yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay. Oh, I hope the cake wasn't there. Uh, here, this way. I need to find the cake. That's all I need to focus on. I'm not seeing a cake. I'm not seeing a cake. Wait, 17 meters from here. 17 meters from here. Meaning it could only be here. So, yes! Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Let's get out of here as soon as possible. Okay. I hated every moment of that. That was so slow. Nine minutes and four cakes. Ooh, dear me. Hmm. Nah. 13 meters. Oh, I'm close. 15 meters. I was close. That is. There it is. I don't care if I use all my candy bars. I want to complete this. I will complete this. Yeah, I think it's gonna be down below. Yep. Down below. Two cakes. Six minutes left. Things are looking pretty. Wrong way. Dang it. You know what the worst part about this is going to be? I'm gonna find the other cake. I'm gonna have five minutes left. I won't be able to make it back to the village room. Nor will I be able to make it back to the to the mine room. Uh, well, yep, that is. I'm just gonna get it. Get me out, please. By any means necessary, get me out of this place. I got it though. We got the crake. <laughs> that was a stressful experience. I could have looted, I could have done a bunch of stuff, I just wanted to get out. I didn't want to take a risk going back to any of those rooms and then not being able to make it back. I did only have two candy bars with me. So yeah, that was um, not the cake vault that I expected to be doing. And I got... Okay. Uh, yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> Looks great though. Looks stylish. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not, not gonna run that. We did, however, get a fun swide or fun swide or oh, I already had a few of those. Never mind, but still pretty good. Laramar, very important. Pigarang. That's not a pigarang. Well, let's see what we got from the crake. Let's open it up. Ooh, okay, okay, plenty of cake. 
I'll take those right off the bat. That means we can make a lot more cake vaults now. Primary thing is the star sense because we are in need of that. Um, I wonder how many I'll be able to make. Three. Just short of a fourth, but we're getting there. Everything else, pretty decent and good. Well, there we go. We have also leveled up once more. I wish to run a normal vault, but before I can do that, I need to go ahead and find myself some more vault crystals. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, something amazing has just happened. I have found two vault rocks, but that is not the amazing thing. If I go into the soul shot shop, look at what is for sale, a star core. I do need 999 soul shots. I currently have 598. I should be able to do this if I hurry up. I don't know when this is going to reset, but I definitely don't want to pass up this amazing opportunity. So I'm quickly going to grab my fortune pickaxe and I'm going to fortune these rocks. Is that four? Seven, nice. And I'm gonna hurry up. Yes, and we got a lucky one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yep, this should be very easy to do. Boom, boom, boom. The only thing I need now are those roses, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. I will need to try and get like 400 soul shards in like one or two vaults and hope that it doesn't reset. But if I can do it, that is an entire star core just right up for the taking. Ow. That would boost our progression a whole lot. Okay, get a bunch here. That should be good. I wasn't even really prepared to record right now. It is the next day from when I recorded the other bits. I just edited it and well, hopped on to see if there was anything good and well, <laughs> <laughs> that was indeed crystal complete got my weapons. Let's do this quickly do that run through personal space speedy and difficult Okay, personal space. I'm not happy about that at all I just need to kill as many things as I possibly can and it's laggy Wow, it's laggy. Okay warm up warm up. Well, this is a good start 607. I just need 300 more My armor is definitely going to be taking a beating here. I mean, one and a half minutes and I already have 20 extra star shots. So if I keep this up, this shouldn't be too bad. This is a great place to farm these mobs. I think I've just got to stay here until either the timer runs out or I have everything I need. I mean, four minutes down and we got a, almost like 50. 50 shots from this. I just need to oh, keep doing this and I should get there. And I just really hope it hasn't run out by the time I come back. I might want a sword or an axe just with banes of arthropods or bane of arthropods because these spiders are really tanky and really annoying to deal with. Okay, that one, that one hurt a bit. Not gonna lie. That hurt a little bit. All right, that has been 25 minutes time to get out of here before something bad happens. Hooey, all right, so for 25 minutes of just killing mobs, we got pretty much a full level here and we got 850 shots in total. And let me check. Yep, it's still here. The stock was still here. So now I basically just need 149 more shots, which Considering I came from 600 to this in one vault, I should be able to get everything else that I need as well. Only thing I need to do is craft one more crystal and also get an extra magnet because these things really are worth it. All right, let's quickly make another vault crystal and wow. Okay, this is easy as well. Strong and crowded. You know what? Strong and crowded. That is plus four mob spawning, but that is plus four mobs that I need. Plus I get strength. So for this specific mission, this is actually good. All right, here we go. We should be able to get everything that we need from this vault. Let's go strong and crowded. So now I basically just need to find a very good spot with spawners and just sit there and do a bunch of killing. And this is not an ideal place for that. So I will move on until I find a proper room for our mission. And of course, any mobs I find on the way will be terminated. This passageway might be 
My key of getting the shards I need. We are at 902 shards. I just need less than 100 now. This room is great for mob farming as well. 961 shards. Getting there. I should even have some extra time to loot this vault, which would be great. I didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> 995, 996, almost there. 997. One thousand and one. All right, I am free to loot. I did see this over here, which I do want to grab. Yes, most definitely with it. And I got like maybe eight minutes to loot this vault. And I'm hoping for a really good room or something in this direction. Ow. Okay, graveyard, have a few gilded chests. Not too bad. Health points, yeah, I can do that. Definitely worth it for the styosins. What's this? Ah, uh, vault time. Okay, I'm gonna get this. All the stuff that I can carry. Uh, yes. And uh, okay, I'm just gonna have to give it up. I got the styosins though. Yes. Perfect. Right. I think I'm just gonna head out. I want to buy that star core ASAP. Still had a minute to go, but that's fine. We'll take a look. Take a look at the loot in a second. But here we go. Star core has been bought. And I do have enough vault diamonds, I believe, to make yet another star core, so we actually have everything that we need. Now I just need a ton of Laramar, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of this and convert it. I really hope I have enough for another star core. That should be enough for another star core. Awesome. Guys, we are only missing the star essence now. We got the star cores, we just need to get a bunch more stars and in order for us to get the final knowledge stars. This vault wasn't too, wasn't too bad though. We did get some vault diamonds, some burger pieces, some extra gems, flask of regret for speed, flask of regret for barrier. We did get a few relic booster packs and mystery boxes. I will run those in just a second. Skill essence and a unidentified vault totem. As a wu charts. Please get a relic. Dang. Take a rang. No. And let's see what we get here. And it's scrappy poison immunity, but I think I already have... Oh, I don't have a potion poison immunity, actually. I guess I'll keep it there. Might be useful for something. Now, we've actually managed to gain quite a few skill points now, and I want to use some of them. Now, the main thing that I want to upgrade is strength. However, I do require level 40 to do that, but I'm two levels away, which means I can spend three skill points, and by the time I get to 40, I'll be able to upgrade this and have enough to upgrade. It. So, I think the things that I want to upgrade are dash, because that'll increase dash power, which I really, really do want. And then I can upgrade something like cleanse or execute. One of these days I'm gonna be fighting a boss, so I'm... Uh, cleanse is fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pour it into execute. And by the time I'll reach level 40, I should have enough to level up strength. Now we're getting very close to wrapping up this episode, but I do have five vault rocks here. Now I've set a timer for five minutes, and I want to see if I can manage to get every one of these rocks turned into a crystal within five minutes. And while I'm doing this, I'll reveal afterwards. So stay tuned. But timer starting now. Let's see what we got. A lucky one, leather, charcoal, cobblestone, and poisonous potato. That, okay, we're not off to a great start here. Poisonous potato. All right, that was fairly painless. I've set a bunch of wood to just burn to get me charcoal because it's really annoying when I need to get it. All right, next, let's speed run this. Another poisonous potato. S ooh, smooth stone. Okay, redstone and bamboo is easy. And it's at this moment I really wish I had an emerald furnace. <laughs> <laughs> now, while some of the stone is smelting behind me, let me explain why I want to make these vault crystals. Mm, let's go somewhere a little bit more suitable, though, because we got an announcement coming up. That's right, in between this episode and the next, I want to be doing my very first Vault Hunters 
live stream where we're going to be running those five volt crystals. This stream will be taking place on Saturday, yes, this Saturday, September the 3rd, and will be starting at 1 p.m. UTC time. Plus, I'll be posting it in my community page and in my Discord server. So make sure to note it down. It's going to be a ton of fun and I'm really excited for it. Again, this Saturday, September the 3rd, starting at 1 p.m. UTC time. I'm looking really forward to it and I hope to see you there. But now, let's finish those vault crystals. Otherwise, we won't have much to do in the live stream and we can't have that. So yeah, let's get back to it. Well, it turned out one of my statues have been generating this. So yep, I now have enough. That's the crystal done, resume the timer. All right, let's get the next one. Emerald sand wheat cake. Well, cake shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. <laughs> I have plenty of sand, so this is not gonna be an issue either. Now the only thing I need next is wheat. Pretty sure, oops, pretty sure that that will be enough wheat. Just about 258, I needed I think 255, right on the dot. All right, my timer says one minute. Oh, that, ooh, this is a problem. Oh boy, snowball is easy enough. And that's time, okay, well, we managed to do three crystals in five minutes. Of course, I will continue this. I think I'm gonna have to do this recipe because yeah, I have three already. So I should only need to make four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that was not fun to do. Now all I need is the prismarine bricks. For that, I'll need an ocean monument. There it is. If I can just dive right down, this should be Fairly painless to do. I should have grabbed, I really should have grabbed a magnet for this, but that's fine. Oh wow, that's a lot here. Okay, I need 144 in total. Well, I suppose while I'm at it, I've defeated way tougher creatures than you. You are nothing to me. This almost feels like doing a vault room. <laughs> well, I have 150, that is all I need. So if I just go ahead and get to the surface, and get the top stuff here. Health is getting a little critical. And, okay, that wasn't a jump. Whew, okay. Got everything I needed. And there we go, nice. All right, final crystal here, and it was an easy one. Yep, that's done in a very sure, I need birch wood. I need birch logs. <laughs> birch spotted. That should do. And there we go. That is all five vault crystals crafted in like 10 minutes or something like that. I am not going, oh dear, yeah, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> Two cursed modifiers. Yeah, I'm not gonna add any catalyst to these. I think we'll just run them random. Maybe some of them will do a cake vault, will do cake vaults, I'm not sure. But for now, I'm going to place them in this room right here. I'm gonna line them up beautifully like so. And yeah, sure. And there we have them, five old crystals ready to be run and looted. Hopefully anyway. Again, live stream this Saturday, starting at 1 p.m. UTC time. Hope to see you there, I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be a ton of fun. But guys, on that note, I'm going to be ending this episode here. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications so you don't miss another upload. Also, if you haven't yet, be sure to join my Discord server. There's a link down below in the description. It's a great community, great place to be. I'm active in there myself, plus I post sometimes announcements in there, as well as when I upload and stuff like that. So if you're interested, yeah, link down below in the description. But with that said, Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the live stream. And if not then, then in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.